distribution of fossils, coastline matching, rocks. How do these evidences explain and support the movements of plates? Hello, Cypals! I am Ma'am Rosalyn Kirubin, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to identify the different evidences that support the continental drift theory. We will find out how these evidences explain and support the continental drift theory. Furthermore, we will identify and appreciate the significance of the different evidences that support the continental drift theory. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another ah moment. Do you still remember Alfred Wegener's Continental Drift Theory? Alfred Wegener is a German meteorologist, geophysicist, and polar researcher. His Continental Drift Theory proposed that the continents were not stationary, but actually moving or drifting away from one another. Based on the feature of this theory, let us look closely at the evidences that will support the continental drift theory. Fossils are preserved remains or traces of remains of ancient organisms. Remember that fossils are not the remains of the organism itself. They are rocks. Ah. A fossil can preserve an entire organism or just part of one. Bones, shells, Feathers and leaves can all become fossils. Ah. The distribution of fossils in different continents serves as one of the evidences of late movement. For example, Mesosaurus, Cygnognathus, and Lystrosaurus are freshwater and land reptiles. Fossils of these animals were discovered in different continents such as in South America, Africa, and Antarctica. Ah. Why is this so? It is impossible for these freshwater reptiles to swim over the vast ocean and move from one continent to another. Fossils of an extinct plant, Glossopteris, were also located in South Africa, Australia, India, and Antarctica. The large seeds of this plant could not possibly travel a long journey by the wind or survive a rough ride through ocean waves. The evidence would only give one possible explanation that continents were once connected with each other. Ah. According to the continental drift theory, all of the Earth's continents were once part of an enormous single land mass, a supercontinent called Pangea. Coastline matching of the seven continents support this idea. If you are going to take a good look in our current world map, we can observe that the edge of one continent surprisingly matches the edge of another. South America and Africa feet together. India, Australia, and Antarctica match one another, while Eurasia and North America complete the whole continental puzzle in the north. Ah. The next evidence that supports the continental drift theory are the rocks containing fossils 
in addition to the previous evidence that Africa feeds South America. Rock formations in Africa line up with that in South America as if it was a long mountain range. Ah. Coal beds were formed from the compaction and the composition of swamp plants that lived million years ago. These were discovered in South America, Africa, Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, and even in Antarctica. The current location of Antarctica could not sustain substantial amount of life. There is substantial quantity of coal in it. It only means that Antarctica must have been positioned in a part of the Earth where it once supported large quantities of life. This led to the idea that Antarctica once experienced a tropical climate. Thus, it might have been closer before to the equator. Ah! Another evidence that supports the movement of plates based from the continental drift theory is the deposit of the glacial till. Glacial till is the sediment deposited by a glacier. Today, glacial deposit formed during Permocarboniferous glaciation about 300 million years ago are found in Antarctica, Africa, South America, India, and Australia. If the continents haven't moved, then this suggests an ice sheet extended from the South Pole to the equator at this time, which is unlikely as the UK at this time was also close to the equator and has extensive coal and limestone deposits. If the continents of the Southern Hemisphere are reassembled near the South Pole, then the Permocarboniferous ice sheet assumes a much more reasonable size. Ah. More evidence comes from glacial excretion, which are scratches on the bedrock made by the blocks of rocks embedded in the ice as the glacier moves. This show the direction of the glacier and suggest the ice flowed from a single central point. These evidences are considered and accepted in 1970 after all the principles on magnetic ships, convection current, and seafloor spreading were integrated in the so-called plate tectonics theory. Determining the different evidences that support the continental drift theory explains the formation, interior, and exterior of the Earth. It can be used to track backward and look at what the Earth looked like in the past ages and to predict what could possibly be the future for our planet. Ah. In this episode, of Agham Alam Hub, you have learned some evidences that support continental drift theory and gain a deeper understanding about these evidences. These evidences are the distribution of fossils, coastline matching, rocks, coal deposits, and deposits of glacial till, fossils of Mesosaurus, Cyclognathus, Lystrosaurus and Gusoctoris are located in the continents of South Africa, Australia, India, and Antarctica, which are now separated from each other by wide ocean. These land and freshwater animals and plants could not possibly travel a long journey by the wind or survive through ocean waves. One of the most visible evidence that the continents where once one is their coastline matching. The edge of the continents surprisingly matches the edge of another. Another evidence are rocks. The rock formations of South America and Africa line up perfectly as if there once a long mountain range. Coal deposits in Antarctica, which prove that animals and plants have abundantly dominated the now ice part of the planet. The current location of Antarctica 
could not support substantial amount of light. The glacial till deposits indicate erratic glacier motion, but when they are fitted together like a jigsaw puzzle, continents reveal a much more streamlined motion, a phenomenon quite difficult to happen unless there was a landmass where the ocean basin now exists. Ah. That's all for today's Cypals! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another AH moment! Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajan SciTech Portal. Bye!